Today, we will talk about how to increase nitrogen in soil. Let's have a look at the details. When you cultivate a garden, you want to make sure your plants grow in the healthiest conditions possible. There's no nutrient more important to the health of your garden than nitrogen. However, not all soil contains the best amount of nitrogen for plants to grow to their fullest potential. Use the right types of plant or animal waste to provide your soil with more nitrogen so your garden can flourish the way you want. The first method is boosting nitrogen with fertilizer. Use chemical fertilizer when you need a quick solution. Synthetic fertilizer is fast acting and easy to apply. If you're in the middle of a growth season and your plants are suffering from nutritional deficiency, consider using chemical fertilizer to revive them. You can buy a wide range of chemical fertilizers at any home improvement center or nursery. Buy fertilizer products tailored to your specific plants. When it comes to chemical fertilizers, the formulas make a big difference. If you're trying to boost nitrogen in your vegetable garden, buy fertilizer made specifically for vegetables. If your lawn needs a nitrogen boost, get a fertilizer formulated for grass. Read the NPK numbers on fertilizer labels. All fertilizers are categorized by a three-number rating system. The first number is nitrogen, the second number is phosphorus, and the third is potassium. These numbers represent the percentage of each nutrient found in the fertilizer. Always check the NPK before purchasing a product. Choose a nitrogen level that matches your soil's needs. Go with a quality, slow-release fertilizer. Slow-release or controlled-release fertilizers may cost a little more, but in the long run, they are the best choice. The second method is using plant waste. Create compost out of vegetables, coffee grounds, and other food waste. Collecting food waste from your kitchen is the easiest way to enrich your soil with lots of nitrogen. It will take several months for your compost to ripen enough for use. Start the composting process in early summer so it will be ready by the following spring planting season. Add leftover grass clippings and garden trimmings to your compost. The garden waste you create while manicuring your yard can still be put to good use. Spread alfalfa meal on top of your soil. Alfalfa meal is very strong, it heats up as it decays, and acts quickly. Plant legume seeds, like peas, alfalfa, and beans. Legume plants are naturally much higher in nitrogen than other types of garden vegetables. The third method is distributing animal waste. Mix feather meal with fertilizer and spread it during autumn. Feather meal is dried and ground chicken feathers. Mix it into your fertilizer of choice before spreading it over the soil. Work crab meal into your soil before planting your spring crops. The crab meal will not only nourish your soil with plants plenty of nitrogen, but also protect your plants from being eaten by nematodes. Soak fish emulsion into your soil. Fish emulsion is ground up fish parts. Look for it at your local garden center. Water your garden with a blood meal. A blood meal is rich in nitrogen. Blend the blood meal with water before using it. Then distribute it with a simple watering can. And, the fourth method is fertilizing with animal manure. Pig manure produced from poultry or livestock. Sheep, chickens, rabbits, cows, pigs, horses, and ducks are all excellent sources of nitrogen-rich manure. Use only six-month-old, or older, manure. It isn't necessarily the disease potential that makes extremely fresh manure unsafe to use. Put on gloves before handling animal manure. Manure can easily spread disease. Protect yourself from any negative effects by wearing the right gear. Add manure-based compost a minimum of 60 days before you plant. Wait a minimum of 60 days so that your soil can absorb the nutrients in the manure. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.